Well, hey, YouTube. Welcome back, everybody. Back on this one. And uh, this will be part four. The last one we left with uh, making a new uh, rod for our slide valve. Well, this is that rod. And it sure don't look the same. And this is that valve. And uh, it looks pretty dirty and old like the rest of it. Well, this is all thanks to a suggestion by a subscriber named Boatbeard. Boatbeard, I owe you a beer, brother. This, uh, your suggestions on coloring brass worked fantastic. I mean, it's, it's, I mean, oh, look at that. I mean, we're, uh, pretty close to spot on and, uh, I appreciate it. Thank you, buddy. So, all right, well, can you guys see these little studs, which are way too far away for you to focus on? So we put studs in here, and we cut new gaskets. So we've got a gasket for the back side of our steam chest and the front side of our steam chest. And we've already got our slide valve done. And we've got our replacement rod. So we're good to go. All right. Well, let's get this thing put together. We'll go ahead and bolt our tie bar in to our linkage here. And uh, I think we might give it a test run just to make sure that our timing didn't get too far out of whack. So give me just a little bit. And uh, yeah, instead of using these well this well, horrific little bolt we went ahead and put studs in here and we're going to put nuts up on there because with the exception of our cylinder cover up here everything else is hex nutted together and well these down here but those are that's coming up we'll fix them too so now that we've got our gasket on we're going to rough set our timing assemble our slide valve and uh, put this together we're gonna see if she'll still run just to just to see so give me a second we'll be right back okay well we got our valve chest back together um, we've got it well kind of ballparked in on our timing you guys can't see anything. I got my hands in your way. So what we're going to do is hook up our valve linkage here. Put these screws back in. Put our valve chest cover back on. And uh, oil this up. We are going to leave our packing nut back off. Because we're going to have to get back in here guys. But we want to make sure that as of right now. We haven't. Well. Everything's going to work. So, let me get this other screw back in. We'll get our cover put back on front of our valve chest. And uh, we'll throw some air to it and see what we've got. So, these are just finger tight. Everything's finger tight. But, look, we have no binding. Everything seems to be nice and smooth. And I don't know if this pick's going to get in your way, but... See that? Our slide valve is free on our rod. So, all right. Well, let me get this other gasket that we cut out, put on here. This little guy here. We'll put our, and we'll throw some air to it and we'll see if it runs. So stick around, hang on. Okay, we've got our valve chest back on our valve chest cover or steam chest cover however you want to say it and uh, our gaskets are in between we don't have any binding um, so far things look good guys um, we did leave our gland packing nut off this is just a, a trial we have these little brass nuts that we're gonna run down on here we'll get this uh, 
put on and tighten down and uh and yeah we'll see what happens when we put our uh valve on here put a little bit of air to it we're going to verify that we are uh, still close on our timing and that our uh, slide valve is working properly so give me just a second okay guys well we've got all this reassembled up here we're going to go ahead and put just a little bit of oil, even though we don't have our gland packing down here. Just put a little bit of oil on everything. I mean, it's, it's not going to hurt. We're going to be tearing into this anyhow, so we'll put a little bit of oil on all this. Go ahead and oil our uh, connecting rod and our main bearings, our cam eccentric. And, uh, once again, you know, free spinning movement. We got our valve up here, and this this part right here, this is just temporary. So let's get some air to it. We're leaking. Now well, our slide valve just went ahead and caught. And if you can see down here, it's bubbling. You can't see it. So we do have a leak at the top, but that's expected because you know, our packing nut's right here. Our exhaust beats are nice and even. Well, other than the rattling and the knocking sounds that we still have, everything is sealed up here in the front with the exception of this, you know, packing nut on top, but we're going to get to that. Well, listen to this little guy run. Imagine all the stories that it could tell if we were able to hear him. So, we're happy with our repairs up here in the front. Once again, Boat Beard, thank you for your suggestions and so on to age brass. This here is all temporary. This will be coming off here. But, uh, and we got to age our nuts. So, but listen to it. Next one, we're going to dig into our cylinder and uh, then continue to search around and figure out what's loose and find our knocks. But we're going to have a great engine by the time this is all done, guys. So, once again, thank you for watching. Thank you so much for your amazing comments. And please, if you don't mind, subscribe. Leave me a comment down there. Let me know what you think we should do next. We're going to keep working on this one. And we might take a break once in a while. We'll work on something else. And uh, there is an engine up there for one of you when we hit 500 and I've got some more mugs and uh, I got some t-shirts too so we'll have another giveaway when we get to 500 subscribers thanks again guys you're fantastic we'll see you next time